Um, my colleague Marimi Mwangi is currently attending the WIPA Party National Executive Council meeting at its headquarters and uh, he's going to be joining me shortly to give us details of that. Remember that NASA was set to uh, sign an agreement um, in regards uh, to uh, the rules of engagement. But right now, let's just cross over live to uh, the WIPA headquarters. Marimi, thank you so much for joining us. So is this meeting today um, of the WIPA party in any way related to uh, the intrigues with the National Super Alliance? Said that the meeting by the National uh, Executive Committee of WIPA here is crucial because we understand that the National uh, Management Committee of the National Super uh, Alliance has been uh, doing what has been said to be the final touches on the coalition agreements, and that, of course, to discuss details of uh, the formula for power sharing within the NASA outfit. And therefore, the meeting here is crucial because, to some extent, the members will get to have an idea of exactly what is the status of the ongoing negotiations within NASA, and that's with regard to the presidential candidates to uh, fly the outfit's flag come the August 8th general elections. I uh, remember the WIPA party leader, Kalonzo Musioka, has staked a claim on the presidency and insists that he is best suited to uh, fly the NASA presidential flag, and therefore the meeting here is crucial. But besides the NASA intrigues, the meeting here will be crucial to to iron out what has been said to uh, be some internal differences among key members of the WIPA party with regard to the jostle for the WIPA ticket for key elective slots. We understand that uh, at the coast in the coastal county of Mombasa, the Secretary General of this party, Hassan Omar, will be jostling for the WIPA ticket to vie the gubernatorial position there against yet another member of the NEC of WIPA, and that's the Nyali MP Hezronawiti. The have been calls within the WIPA outfit for these two candidates to run a joint ticket, of course one being the running mate for the other, but we understand that each of the two candidates are keen to have female running mates and therefore this is going to be an interesting discussion here at the home turf of uh, Kalonzo Musioka in Kitui. There's yet another jostle for the WIPA ticket for the gubernatorial position there. We understand that Senator Musila of Kitui will also be contesting the governorship against Governor Malone and this has to take, of course, the intervention of the party since the two will be jostling for the ticket of the Wiper party in the race for the governorship there, Betty. All right. Uh, are we likely also to see, I mean, looking at the bigger picture um, with uh, NASA, when are they likely to sign this particular argument, uh, Murimi? Betty, just yesterday I did speak to some members of that management committee and we understand that they held yet another meeting yesterday uh, because from the initial uh, reports that we had, the four NASA principals had an opportunity to review the raw copy of the coalition agreement sometime last week. And what the management committee has been doing is to fine-tune uh, key sections of that agreement. There were reports that that agreement might be signed this week, but of course many... Uh, uh, sources within the opposition coalition say that uh, might not happen this week, but it's uh, of course expected to happen perhaps by the end of the month. But the disclosure of who will be the presidential flag bearer is of course expected to stretch for quite some time uh, because details have been scanty with regard to uh, the progress of the management committee that is still meeting. Uh, but besides that, some have said that it could be a strategy for the opposition to surprise the name of their presidential candidate on the ruling Jubilee regime as a strategy to ensure that, of course, they get that particular crucial seat, which is the country's top seat, that being the presidency. Betty.